What's good people, welcome back to the first take and we're gonna review Beast of No Nation. Eh! Eh! What is this? What is this thing? <laughs> <laughs> it's the first take, that's what it is. Yeah, so we checked out Netflix's first movie release, which had a dual release on Netflix, Netflix, and on the cinema. And chill. Uh, Was that in the cinema? They did like a limited release, oh, a handful of screen, because that makes it eligible for awards. Which I could see again. It's Dan, <laughs> G check. And also from the continent of Africa, not from wherever this film is based. Actually, it was, you know. Was that in Ghana? Yeah. I didn't know Ghana had it like that. They can't... I'll get into that in a minute, actually. I'll get, I'll get into that. I thought Ghana was one of the more stable, nice places, man. It is, but... That's city to city. Where they went... Right, remote. Was remote. Um, and we've got a lot of that. Let's get into it then. The story. This the poor kid. The story is nothing we ain't seen before. You reckon? Lord of War. Um, I guess it's got the city of God Edmund, but yeah, the African setting, this child soldier. I don't think we've ever seen a cinema that that's a Lord film. of War. Oh, I haven't seen that. Uh, I'm not sure. <gasps> uh, that slip past. Me. <laughs> Get out of here! Who's in that? When did that come Nick on? Cage and oh, um, fucking what's Nick his Cage name? Film. No, Jared Leto. <laughs> no, watch the film. <laughs> no, 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 no. Watch the film. It's nothing that hasn't been done. A Nick Cage film worth watching. This is I swear like to a... God, Lord. This was when Nick Cage had cinema. Nah, he yeah. was already on the down. This is when he was an arms dealer, right? Yes. So this ain't no, the story. No, 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 no. Don't forget, he was an arms dealer. Mm -hmm. So therefore, he then went to somewhere in Africa, some made-up country, I think, and he was selling there. But you kind of get a gist of that yeah, an we, early, early hint. That's just a gist. I'm talking about a film that truly gets into the character it and the psyche of people does. living that life. I reckon the closest that's come to this is uh, See Your God. Honestly, it's nothing that hasn't been done before. But, mm -hmm. but I have to mm -hmm. say, mm -hmm. the actors who weren't even actors. This kid wasn't even an actor before they found him. But a performance and a half. The, the kid killed it. The freaking side characters killed it. I go strike his up. parents, his brothers and sisters killed it. And what makes me laugh, and I actually put this out on Twitter and Facebook. I'm not being funny. If you've ever watched a Nigerian film or Ghanaian film or any African film, bar South Africa, yeah, it's the most laughable thing and the worst mm. acting I have ever seen. Mm -hmm. And I was like, hold on a second. How is it Netflix managed to find these decent freak, not even decent, they were damn good actors. Just natural actors. Right? Yeah. Carrie Fukunawa, the direct director. You know the dude? You know the dude? No. True detective. That guy. Oh, season serious? one. Season one. Oh! Good director. And then I thought it was based way back. That's no, more than it. And that great, actually great is, yeah, and then they were singing um, Shout Out Wale. Everybody damn love my ting, love my ting, love my ting. Oh, it's such a tune, bruv. You need to hear it. Damn, so yeah. Idris, killing it. He's... What was that crappy film he did with Taraji P? <laughs> oh, yeah. I didn't even really check that shit. After that film, right, I, I was like, Idris, like, seriously. Like, seriously, bruv. Like, seriously. He can do that, and he shows in this that he can. And. And it's he just so it. natural, it just all felt so His accent real. was a bit off, and for a guy who was raised by a Ghanaian woman, I'm like, what's going on? See, now and again, I heard little yeah, 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 yeah. slips of London up in there. But I did. Generally, I think he did. He held it down pretty well. He did. He he did, and fucking hell, man. So how did you feel about it? This kid who you see going from a relatively normal childhood, you know, poor, but still normal. A little happy, and smiling. And, yeah. And then just see him just lose his humanity. Yeah. That, that, it, that funny enough watching that it made me seriously think how you can mold people and how so, des you desensitize yeah. them easy, easy. I mean look at the first That's killing the he did yeah the machine and I was like if that was me I put myself in his position and I would have heard my dad begging for his life saying mm. that he's not mm. a soldier mm -hmm. or a spy 
and that, was it ever really clarified? Those people weren't soldiers, were they? But then at the same time, he did bring out uh, a Kalashnikov out of one of the cars. So I don't know whether they actually were. Yeah, this is it. It's debatable. It's freaking debatable. And that was just, they didn't look like soldiers. No, it and like, it was quite confusing in, at points because it felt like they were just fighting and killing normal people at a yeah. stage. And that, I was like, that's the ambiguity that I love about it. In that, in it, there's no clear cut. These are the good guys. These are the bad yeah. guys. His family were killed by one group of people, so oh, he must be taken in by the good guys. But no, the good guys are just as bad. But at the same time, they do have a genuine cause yeah. that they're fighting for. But they're just killing anyone in order to. This, it, oh, it was deep. it's a head fuckery, man. It, it really is. His boy Striker. Striker. I was worried. Blah, 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 blah. I was worried when the show Striker getting ignored by Idris. I was wondering that he was gonna turn. Yo, yeah, kill him while yeah. the, he was be sleeping like or something. Or some shit. But no, they turn into like brothers. But yeah, we're gonna get into spoilers. We don't mention, man. We're gonna get into it, man. Fuck it. You ain't seen it already. That with that, the scene in the bedroom. Oh, you didn't even see it. Yeah, but it left more of an impact mm -mm. than other films that may depict full on. Whoosh. Yeah, <laughs> and I was just like, and when he came out. Striker knowing what's going on because Striker's yeah, fully yeah. got it before. Oh. And Haku still he still he still was loyal man and then oh, I thought he was gonna man. have that chick in the in the brothel. Oh yeah, when he shaved up. Oh, yeah, it was like go oh, in man. What the fuck was that though? I think a little bit after the brothel when you see him bust into some house. Yeah, and, it, and they're raping the mom. woman we thought was his mom. Yeah. yeah. And it's like, no, you ain't my mum, but then they start beating up the little girl. Yeah. Oh, but, but it very, was, very well told. Mm. And yeah, the child soldier, and seeing how they're drawn into these things as yeah. well. I mean, how this one was drawn in was rather. That's what I like about the films. It really uh, gets into the psyche of how you can desensitize and train a kid to do this, and how it was quite scary. Yeah, how fucked up it is in yeah. the beginning, and how damaging it is. But then they just become so used to it. Like when he sees some guy get shot on the side, but he's laughing about some shit that's going over here. Yeah, yeah. And he's just like, it's just used to it now. You see it so much. A lot of us in the, in the Western world think, oh, how could you? You could never become dehumanized like that. But look at soldiers. Your motherfuckers ain't shit over here. But look at soldiers or like police officers yeah. or even doctors, surgeons. The first time they have to cut up a cadaver, a lot of them, they throw up, they're sick. But then they just get used to it and they're just throwing bits all over the place. Desensitization. They just it's get crazy. So this is the same sort of psychological effect there. That's why I, I, I say to so many kids over here that like they should count themselves yeah. lucky instead of doing all this postcode yeah. losses and blah 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 because when you go to places like Afghanistan and Iraq and you see and they, they see this they see their families murdered and bombed and so forth what effect would that have on you mm. as a child or as a person you know the hatred and the anger you must feel all at once the emotion and, mm. and this is what I loved about Agu's character yeah, because he felt that like, he needed something to, some way to focus it. Mm. And at first he thought he was putting it in the right place, but then he realised he wasn't, but then it got to a point where he just didn't care. Then the but drugs too began, late. the brown yeah, brown. Yeah, then the fucking, I'm guessing that was like heroin or something. No, gunpowder. Um, from the bullet, and then they light it up, and then that's why it goes all that white musty colour. In, in Lord of War though, they were mixing it with cocaine. Mm. And again, it was almost like that impact of feeling so buzzed that you feel invis invincible, but no, he you. needed to numb that pain. But you saw him having rude rules at the end when he was in the little kid's home. That, that was deep. And what he said about... Yeah, that animal monster. Yeah, and being that he's looking at this woman and thinking she's a child compared to him because of his mindset. Mm. He's like he's man. an old man, he and it, it, it was it ah oh, powerful stuff, powerful stuff. I thought they were gonna go the way of narcos, where they 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 speak the native tongue with a bit of English, mm. but it was more English. Yeah, it started led. off <clears throat> with the subtitles, but then cross over to mm. English. And he kept the English real because if you've ever been to Ghana, a lot of like the uneducated people. Yeah. Are you having a family? Yeah. That they, that that's exactly yeah, how they yeah, would yeah, actually yeah. speak. So the authentication of this thing was certified. I was like, geez. You know, even when he was narrating, he could have spoken properly. Yeah, yeah. But they kept it all the way through and it was just like, damn. 
who do you think deserves to get nominated? Forget winning, but just nominated for an award. Him, the little boy who played Agu, whatever that name is. <laughs> best Agu, yeah, best leading Melda. Yeah. I guess it would have to be. It There's, would have to be. It's not really because the cast member. Idris was more of a support than anything. Yeah. yeah. It's freaking crazy. And he, he, and he, he, he was so believable. It was crazy. Weird. Love so it. believable, Love and I think that's probably the most believable I've seen Idris since The Wire. Mmm. Yeah. You know, that's true. That's actually a point, you know. I don't, I'm trying to think. He's a good actor, and I enjoy seeing him in films, but The Wire, where he the plays um, Stringer Bell. Stringer Bell. The most natural and yes. menacing. I am your father. <laughs> son. <laughs> Ain't no father. Agu, get on your knees. <laughs> Could you imagine someone saying, get on your knees? I was like, oh Oh, shit, is he seriously going to make this little boy blowing? (laughs) Oh yes, he did. (laughs) Sorry, I I shouldn't be laughing. No, but these kids who have nothing, who've lost everything and how they're manipulated Mm. into a situation because then the guy's like, I got no bullets. How am I going to kill my enemy without bullets? And that just said it all. It means without weapons, you ain't shit. And that, that that line, I don't know how many people paid attention to that line, but for me, it was so powerful. And it summed things up. But even by that point, they had no cause to fight towards, because they, no. they'd abandoned what they were fighting for. So there, it was just the point of just killing for the sake of killing. Yeah. So, no and, we oh, killing for. and I was I was shocked how graphical it was mm. when they hacked that guy's head. Yeah, we just it was like... And it's the look if you ain't watched this episode of The Walking Dead, season six, episode two, check it. It takes it to that level. Mm. That kid has a bright future if someone guides if him. He sticks at it. And man. look at that kid from a uh, what was the engine one? Slum dog. He just vanished. Yeah. Sadly, but he deserves to do more. It man. was. It was. It, it's an interesting film. I was just thinking. At first, I thought it was based on a true story until I realised based on the book. So it I wasn't. Know. It's based on a book, I don't know what the book's based on. Right, okay. not. Nah, I mean, they ain't done shit like that in so long where these governments overthrow each other and go to war and someone goes, kills this one and kills this minister and they're all corrupted. They're all yeah. fucked. Would you give this out of five then? Out of five, I'll give it a straight four, four and a half. And the reason why I don't give it a full five is just because I felt some bits and elements the message could have been clearer or could have like been better paced, like made more of an impact. But I suppose they wanted to take you on the journey of the little boy. Yeah, it was this story. You know. Definitely. And watching him seeing the end as well. It it it, it was nice. Finally but, let go. Yeah. But run into the water. I would have loved to see Agu break down and cry. And just finally, can you though? At that point, at, but yeah. At that seriously, point, your you've mum, done, you've been through so much. At least much. she's alive somewhere. Yeah, I'll definitely give it a... I'm going to give it a solid four. I'm going to go for four. Why four? Because I felt that... I, I compare it to something, my closest comparison is City of God. Mm. And for me, City of God was just a bit more... City of God is is, is just so hard body. Just the story of it was just more emotional. That, Even though that, this was emotional, that yeah. kind of flow... City of God could have been so real for it. Like, when you watch it, it just it's like... Yeah, yeah. I, I forget that it's a film. There's not many films make you emotionally connected mm. and takes you on that journey. I had actually sat down and I questioned myself so many times and put myself in this boy's situation. Why? They could have got better looking girls though. I mean, come on, man. Yeah, you, that, you, that, 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 that took a piss. You think I'm going to go to that freaking village and take that? <laughs> yeah, definitely. Beast of No Nations, Netflix, original movie. Definitely a thumbs up, man. What do you guys think? Let us know where it comes down below. If you like the video, please subscribe. I am Mary Reese. And I am Danny. This has been our first take review. Peace and no nation. Hey, guys. Remember, be good. Stay home. Go to school. Get an education. Pull your pants up. What is this? What is this? What is this? I will get on your knees. This thing. Get on your knees.